Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders and others companies. There are links below for you to click on when you place an order. I do receive a small commission that's at no cost to you. So, here I was playing in the craft room today. Um, have Most of my videos are done for just a little bit and um, then I'll go back and revisit all of the new product for April. But I wanted to play with my wax seals from Spellbinders. And I realized that I don't use them as much as I should because making the wax seal and making the card all at the same time kind of doesn't mix in well for me. I guess it's because I'm on camera. Um, so I just wanted to make the hello. This is the new one uh, for April's release. And then I have this beautiful sunflower right here. So I just wanted to make a few wax seals with you guys today. I wanted to talk a little bit about your candle. See my wick right here? You really want the skinniest, littlest wick that you can possibly imagine so that you don't get black soot. So I am going to snip off just the top of that. Do you see how short that is? Now that is going to allow um, no smoking, okay, for the, um, the candle. So let's go ahead and light this. Just like that, that will come, that flame will come up in just a second and I'm going to put my little pot over top of it. Now I got mine on um, Amazon. Of course I'll link the one for Spellbinders below. I'll also link one for Amazon. The one that I got from Amazon had, came with um, a bunch of colors in this nice little tray and it came with a gold and uh, silver markers also. But like with Spellbinders, you have to buy things separately. Uh, but I didn't want to put too much money into it because I wasn't really sure if I was going to enjoy making wax seals as much as I do. I have to admit, I absolutely love it. Now, so I decided to make, I was in here and I was making these For You wax seals and then my little sprig right here. So I was having fun making these and I decided to turn the camera on and we could make these together. I like to use a little toothpick to stir it up. My, um, my little spoon there is getting warm. And we're going to use teal. And this teal has three different colors in it, a light green, a darker green, and a gold. Isn't that pretty? And then the pistachio is just a pistachio color. And then this is um, pink. And again, this has a light, a dark, and a gold in it. And I think that they're just so much fun to make. But like I said, I don't use them as much as I should because I don't have them already made. So I figured if I made them and put them in my little um, stack and storage by uh, scrapbook.com, see, I've shown this before. The top one I keep my tools on. Then I have sentiments right here, ready to go, okay? And now I have one with wax seals in it. A look at all of these, I was just having fun. And so we'll just have fun together, right? So let's go ahead and put in some, I love this teal color, so pretty. You know, I just really, look at that, isn't that fun? Light, dark, and there's even like a lighter, a lighter, but like a, I don't know, it's kind of shiny, right? So I'm going to start with four beads right there. And when I do something like this with, um, ooh, my flame went out. Maybe I cut my wig too short, right? Um, I think we're good, though. I think we're going to be just fine. There we go. There. See, my, my flame is just fine. But I have to admit, you know, I don't use it as much as I should. And they are a lot of fun. So I thought that we would go ahead, like I said, and make them together. I like to use a little toothpick because it's disposable when I stir this. But when I put a gold in here, I don't really stir. I kind of just poke it to make sure that everything is um, melted. I'm going to put another dark one in there. When you first start out and your spoon um, does not have a lot of wax in it, if you're going to use the same color, you definitely need more wax. And you do wipe out a lot of wax um, as you're, you know, going through things. But I have another one right here. Let's put our pink in here. I think that's so pretty. I want to make a pink sunflower. And I want to make a pink hello. 
So just, you know, let's just have fun. So I just thought I'd turn the camera on and we could do this together. This one I want two gold and a dark and a light. How's that? Maybe another dark. There we go. We'll start with that. Okay, I'm going to let this melt and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are melting nicely here. Really nice. And I think you guys can see, yes, I believe, let me move this in camera just a little bit better. Right there. Okay, let me move this down just a tad. Get right there. Okay. Can you see all the colors? The light and then that um, shiny, darker, and then the gold. Now, I seriously, this has melted so well, I don't even want to stir it or poke it. But I have to test to make sure that everything is... Yes, it is melted. Okay. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to move these off of here. This is just a little silicone mat. You could do it on your glass mat. And I'm just going to pour this. And I'm going to pour it in the shape of an oval. First, I'm going to do my hello right here. The best I can, right? Okay, I'm going to get a paper towel and just wipe that side and put this back on and add a few more beads. See, as you go, you don't have to use as many beads. Now let's get our hello right here and I'm going to push this, place it right on there and let it smush. The, oh, I didn't have enough. The greatest thing about wax seal is that when it's not, when you don't um, have it all the way, you could cut it up and then do it again. Let me go ahead and put even more in here. These are larger wax seals and the um, greatest thing about Spellbinders is when you you can unscrew these and you have the handle and then you have the the seal okay and you can store them like this or together and there's also a wax seal of the month club and you get a package of beads and your wax seal and your wax seal always has a handle with it so that is really good I'll link that below for you also so that just screws onto there so let's see okay see how I'm just a little short on that right there right but look at how pretty that gold looks in there. Oh, I wish that would have come out nice. But I, w I just wanted to show you it's a trial and error thing. I'm not used to the oval. I guess we need more um, beads for the oval. And like I said, that was the first time going through it. So I could have probably added another bead or two. Let's see how we do with this one. But again, I'm not going to stir because I don't want to mix my colors. I just want them to kind of blend together. All right, I'll be right back again when that is melted. We'll try again. Okay, I think we're really good. Look at that swirl. Look at that swirl. I'm not even touching that. I am not going to touch it. Okay, let's see how we do this time. A little bit larger here for the oval. I think we're going to do great. And I'm going to push that right there. Well, I'm not pushing. I'm just letting it. Ooh, that might be too much. <laughs> It's either not enough or too much. No, I think that's okay. Really, I think that would look fantastic on a card. Let me wipe that. Put that right there. And let's go ahead and um, I want to cut this one up. I wanted to show you that. So let's just slice this. My big scissor. Let's put, cut it like that. If you're not doing wax seals yet, you might want to get into it. They're fun. Just another different way to craft, right? Let's put this in here and then I'm going to stick a gold in there with that. Okay, here is one that I did with this beautiful um, propagation garden collection and the, here is the hello and here's what I did with the um, those leaves absolutely wonderful right and this came out such a cute card right here I, I, I glimmered these even though they're better press you know you can foil with better press but you can't better press with the foil plates okay so always remember that um, but look at how pretty my hello came and I used my little gold pen and this is melting let's see I hate to touch it oh yeah we're good we're good Oh, look how pretty. Oh, I love it. Look at how pretty that is. Now, let's go ahead and take our gold pen. 
and this is like a metallic uh, paint metallic pen and I'm going to go ahead and go over these letters to let them stand out and honestly I really think I will use this a lot more use my wax seals a lot more if I just go ahead and make them and then have them in my little bin over there ready to go because I'll be like oh what can I add to this card and then I'll add a seal so here is the hello that really came out nice now I've also linked below for you there are um, stickers that you could put on the back here that you could peel off and stick uh, to a card or an envelope um, I used a circle punch with these and you know you could always cut one down or you could use double-sided tape or whatever on on here also to stick it but look at how sweet that came oh I love that this is about ready and melting and let's see and I think we're doing pretty good with adding the one that was a little short there you know and I added what another gold bead it's just fun. It's relaxing. Um, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a sunflower this time. Let's do that. Then we'll clean it out and we'll do the pink. I'll put these back in while that's melting. So there's always a little downtime in between all of this. I love when there's a lot of colors. And, and you can always mix color. You know, you could. Have at it. Put some teal with pink and gold. Oh, we might do that. Oh, should I do that? Wait a minute. What, see, here I go. Here goes my brain. Hold me back. Okay, so this one we want round. So I'm just going to drop it right here in the middle. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to take my sunflower and yes that's gonna come out so good okay now this is very hot and you always waste wax when you do something like this that's what it is there's like a hundred beads in a pack especially if you're a member of the club um, you always get a pack of wax beads so um, and there's like a hundred in there have my trash over here roll of paper towels here and see what I mean? Like, I have all of this stuff out. And then to add it in to a video making a card, I've just been finding that to, it like, it hinders me. So, we'll just make them. Oh, I didn't even need to clean that out, right? Let me just add that right there. That's my other spoon. I guess that one came from um, Amazon. But this one, uh, or this one came from Amazon. I think that one came from Hobby Lobby, I think. Yep. So let's see how we do here. Ooh, would that not be pretty? Let's see if I did like two pink, well, pink and gold there. But what if I did two other pink? Let's get, let's get some pistachio. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's put the pistachio in here, which is gonna be too cute nice and light with that light pink right and then we'll add some gold so you know mix and match just have fun let's use two of those guys I want to make a hello this way let's get a gold one maybe two gold let's see that two four six eight that's too many beads okay so let's take away one gold and let's take away one dark pink. I think that would be good for an oval. Let's see if we're good here. Yeah. Oh, how pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that sunflower. And you know, this one about doesn't even need to be colored because of the gold. You could always do just a gold. That's really pretty. But I am going to color it because I like to. It just makes it, just gives it a little bit more pizzazz and shine. So just come through here and 
highlight, you know, touch on the spots that are raised. Come in here and I'm going to color all of that. Turn that a little bit. See, and then you could color as stuff melts, and I'm just enjoying my day. I always enjoy my day if I'm in here. It was so funny, I needed to vacuum this morning, so I was like, okay, hurry, vacuum quickly so you could get into that craft room. I live for this craft room, I have to admit. And here it is colored and I love that look at that isn't that fun that is fun so here's two so far a hello and a sunflower I love it we're gonna make another hello out of this and then maybe a sunflower out of that but I'm wondering is that dark enough let's take one pistachio away and let's put one dark in let's do that Oh, you know what? Yeah, well, let's see. We have, how many colors of pink do I have in here? I kind of have three colors of pink. Instead of doing, yeah, let's take one away, and let's put this lighter. It's darker, but it's a little bit lighter, you see? So a little bit of everything always makes it fun. That one jumped in there, didn't it? Okay, good. We'll see what that looks like. Just enjoying it. Just absolutely enjoying it. Now, let me say this much, okay? Because I always tell you guys the truth. This is a For You, and I, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, okay? It's okay, the font. But look at how much crisper the, the, the image and the font is with Spellbinders. I just have to say that, okay? I'm just being honest. You can see it for yourself. I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional at any of this, but you can see the, I don't know, this is like flat, but this is raised. So, you know, it is what it is. Here's a little key that I did. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. But you can see the difference in this right here. This is Spellbinders. This is Hobby Lobby right here. And, you know, I can tell. Not that I won't maybe use those. I don't know. Because when I see these, they're just so much better. I'm sorry. Just have, I have to be honest, right? Come on. We'll just be honest about that. Cute. Okay, I think we're melted. Let me try my little toothpick here. Yes, we are. Okay. See, now I've used both ends of this. I just crack it off. And then I'll use it again. Let's go ahead and pour an oval type shape. And I'm going to put all of these in here now. And we'll get our hello right there. Oh, that's perfect! Yay! Always remember, wax seal is like perfectly Im imperfect, okay? It doesn't have to be equal here, equal there. Um, but like the first one I did, it just was not full enough, okay? So that one was a no-go. But this is perfect. These are perfect. Well, as far as I'm concerned. These are great. I thought this one I had too much, but actually not. I love the way the gold comes out of there. Really pretty. Okay, let's let this melt, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's reveal our hello. Oh, my goodness. So pretty. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. I'm going to use my gold. See, I'm not using silver because I don't have a silver beads. I also looked on Spellbinder's site, and they have a rose gold pen. That's pretty neat. Quick and easy. 
So pretty. Now see, I will use these because they're made. Okay, um, I want to do another hello in, in with the green and the pink and the gold. Let's do that. Oh, I love it. It's going to look so pretty. It's going to look so pretty. Now, I definitely want to do, well, I'll clean this in just a second. Um, I definitely want to do another one right here. And I just want to do a pink sunflower. Pink with gold. Let's see. One gold, a light pink, a dark pink, a darker pink. I want another gold in there for sure. There. Let's let that melt. Just do this and then we'll clean this. Like I say, be careful touching that metal. It's, it stays hot. It really does. It stays hot for a while. And get your wax off the bottom because that again will make soot. I have a bag here that I'm throwing all of my things in. And, you know, if the, you can't get your wax out, put it back on there, heat it up, and you'll be able to get it right out. No big deal. This is it. This is, it's an easy process, but as you see, I've got all of this out. So, I really feel like, because I fell in love with that hello, as you can tell. Um, so, and there's so many wax seals over on Spellbinder. So many. Little cars, little things for Christmas. I mean, there's an array of product. But I really think you'll like it. If you start doing it, I really think that you will um, get addicted to it. Just like I am in the Better Press. I didn't think I was going to like Better Press. But I'm telling you guys, I love to Better Press. I love to Glimmer. I love to better press. I love how you can intermix all of these elements together. I think that's just so much fun. Okay, let's see. Are we good? I think we're good. Oh, look. Look! Oh, my goodness! That little bit of green. Ah! I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, another thing that you can do also to make sure that these things are cool when you press them, because I put them on my glass mat, but you can have a little bit of ice. I've, I've done that in a video too, and just put them in the ice. If you know, if you're working really fast with a few spoons or something, um, you might want to cool them down that way. They do press better if they're cold. I'll say that. But as you can see, These are coming out great, but there's plenty of time between everything. Whoops, I got a little bit of paint on the inside of that. Oh, that's okay. It'll just look like the gold from here. Here we go. Look at that. Now, I have a nice, look at this wonderful collection that we're making today together. And we definitely need a sunflower, pink sunflower, right? Really, really cute. And I know I'm going to use every one of these now because they're already made. That's what is wonderful. So I'm going to purge through here and see what I really want to keep because I'm not thrilled with a lot of these, I have to admit. So we'll have to just purge through, right? And I'll be back in a second when this melts. Okay, let's make our pretty sunflower pink and gold sunflower. We're all melted. The other thing I wanted to tell you guys is your wax that's in your candle there. Okay, I'm going to scrape some of this out of my spoon, just like that. Sometimes you have to pour it off so that your so that it will um, see how this is going down? It's because this is full of wet wax. Let me get this going first. But that's what's going on there, okay? So just to let you know about that. 
and I purged my little container and this is what I came up with. Apparently I had made a pink one and a gold one a while back. Um, but that's all I'm keeping. So I will work with my hello some more today because I really love it. And you do go through a lot of paper towels or napkins or, you know, whatever you're going to use here to clean out. But that's normal. It's okay. And I am cleaned up and ready to go. But I have to pour that wax off. Let's do that together. So here is my mess here. My messy, my little bag here that I have with my paper towels. And I'll just pour this into it. And then, of course, my wick is too long, so, you know, we will trim it back. So, you know, you got you just work with it. And I just use an old Walmart bag, and then I throw all of that away. This, too. Easy. Easy, easy. Just make it easy. Look at our collection. I just, oh, these came out so pretty. Let's put that one over there. This one here. This one could have had a little bit more wax, I think, but could be a little one. Nope. This one I'll put back in at some point. See? It cut it off right there. But you get the idea. Here is our beautiful wax seals. I love the hello from the Propagation Garden Collection. Absolutely wonderful oval. And you could use it on so many cards. And then I just had my sunflower right there that I love. So... There we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.